Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to run Telnet command in Linux system. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of Telnet command. Telnet package must be installed in your system. The most important thing to remember is that Telnet package is not installed by default in the Linux system, so you need to install it first. If you try to use Telnet without installing it first, you will receive a message like below. Here, we have mentioned the steps on how to install the Telnet package on Ubuntu and CentOS system. For Ubuntu OS, please follow these steps. For CentOS OS, please follow these steps. Let's see how it works. Suppose you want to test the connectivity of SMTP service on a remote server. For that, you need to fire the following command in the terminal window. Enter the IP address or domain name of the server you are trying to connect to in place of domain name or IP address. Replace the second bracket port number with the port number on the remote machine, connection to which you want to test. For example, Let me show you this in action. First of all, you will have to log in into your Linux system. Here, we have used Ubuntu 16.04 as an example. Click on the system logo located on the status bar. After then go to the system tools option. Select the LX terminal option and click on it. Once you click on it, one terminal window will be opened. Type telnet space domain name or IP address of the server you're trying to connect it. Here we have used IP address 192.168.2.152 as an example. Again enter a space. Type the port number of the remote machine, connection to which you want to test. Here we have used port number 25 as an example. After then press enter. If the connection succeeds, you will get this message, meaning that the computer port is open. If you are getting an error message like below, this error means the port is not enabled or the remote server is not listening on the provided port. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to run Telnet command in Linux system. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.